welcome to today's winter vlog i just woke up this morning with an urge to do cute wintery things today i'm gonna see what stores have put out for christmas and i kind of want to get like a cute little holiday drink I don't know from where yet though, so we're gonna have to see. I just honestly feel like this is the best time of the year. Like all the stores put out their really cute things for like gift giving season and whatnot. I'm a summer baby, but I thrive in the winter time. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me. Like something about winter just has a good energy around it. I had this candle burning all morning while I was getting ready. This is strawberry snowflakes from Bath and Body Works. It's just so like yummy but it has a nature feeling to it if that makes sense. I really hope that I can find a place that has nice like winter drinks. I'm kind of thinking Duncan. I don't know. I literally never go there so wherever I go it's gonna be probably my first time. I wish I could have you guys recommend me some but. So for the outfit today I'm wearing the iconic Baby Metal Club velour skirt. Absolutely adorable and I'm wearing this Liz Lisa tank top that I got last year I believe and it just has like this cute little cheetah print poof on the string and I'm also wearing this Juicy Couture necklace like my only golden piece of jewelry but i wore gold because i'm also gonna wear this bag and i put this hello kitty chain and i'm wearing my liz lisa coat cute the colors are low-key all over the place but my shoes kind of tie it together i'm gonna wear these shoes put this on the wrong side oops okay that is so much better I'm kind of thinking glasses, but strictly for fashion reasons, obviously. It's giving Tommy. Yeah, I love the glasses vibe, but it does make my vision a little wonky because I don't need them and it just adds like an extra layer of just like shadow to my sight, which isn't the nicest, but I'm probably going to wear it when I go inside of stores, but not while I'm driving. Cute, I'm obsessed. Okay. I decided to switch to denim last minute. I know I'm so indecisive. I think I like this a little bit better. This skirt is from IMGA. And yeah, I'm gonna actually get going now. Hopefully, no more last minute changes. Desperately need one of those car dash cams. Not dash cams, one of those like phone stands for when you're driving so that I can properly have footage of me driving instead of just sitting you guys on the dash at this awkward angle, but I don't know. I just wanted to talk to you guys, so I hope you guys can tolerate the noise and the angle. I never go to Dunkin'. This is like the second time ever. The first time was because I got like a free tea or something. Can I help you? Do you guys serve breakfast all day? Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Um, can I get the cookie butter cold brew? Uh, can I do a, a medium? Do you want the sugar in it? Yes, please. Anything else for you? Yeah. Asked if they serve breakfast all day, and she said, unfortunately. So I don't know if I shouldn't have ordered breakfast, because why would it be unfortunate? I don't know what the lore is there. Oh, it's pink. I'm in my mukbanger era, apparently. Okay, so I got like a cookie, cookie butter cold brew is what it's called. Yeah, let's try it. It's probably gonna be like criminally sweet. I also got a pink donut. These are so cute together. Never in my life craved a donut, which is so weird, because I love bread, but for some reason donuts just don't like call my name ever. Honestly, everything works really well together. I'm happy I came here, because this is really good. I'm gonna finish eating now. Hobby Lobby honestly threw me for such a loop because when I immediately walked in, they had the cutest Barbie and Hello Kitty displays. Like, I had to take a second and remember where I was because this was insane. Oh, 
when i tell you guys i stood here trying to justify buying these huge candy decorations but i just couldn't at the end of the day <laughs> I did a little spontaneous stop at this thrift store and I found this leopard print pillow. Why is this actually adorable? I think I'm gonna go back out a little bit later but my phone was dying so I thought I'd stop by the house and get started on some of the DIY projects. I did want to go to TJ Maxx so I might still do that. I just put the cheetah print pillow that I got into the washer because I have a super cute DIY plan for it. It was honestly such a spontaneous thought but I'm definitely gonna put some like pink trim around the pillow and I also want to create a bow in the middle. I think it's gonna be such a cute accessory for my bed. Okay, my paint is a little bit janky, especially when you switch it on, but this is my light switch that we're about to transform. So yeah, here's the before. I'm gonna start my DIY by making little bows to put on my light switch. We're officially in studio mode. I want these bows to be tiny so that they can fit on my light switch because it's not that big of a surface but like the smaller the bow the harder it is to tie correctly so i'm just gonna have to see it usually takes me a couple tries to get it right i don't do like an actual method i just like act like i'm tying a shoelace <laughs> and hope it works for the best and it doesn't always to be honest i kind of just have to pull and tighten until it starts to work yeah this is what works for me i just like do a shoelace type of tie and hope it works for the best and as you can see it kind of worked <laughs> i'm just gonna take my why can't i remember fabric scissors <laughs> and make it a clean cut Ta-da! this honestly came out really cute i hope it's small enough i think it is though so I'm gonna do that one more time, I think. I think I'm gonna try to do two bows. This one is kind of wonky, cause this ribbon's probably been used on my hair. Like if it's wonky like this, I most likely did a hairstyle with it, but we're still gonna make it work. Do the same way, loop one side, loop the other, and just like try to make it go underneath really hard with the nails it's so cute <laughs> okay she's definitely warm Okay, I'm gonna cut out the very exterior white lace and see what it looks like. Because that is not cute. That's gonna look so much better. Okay, I'm gonna glue this down now. And then I'm gonna start adding the cute little decorative pieces. I also have another layer of lace before I do that. So yeah, two more steps. Okay, so I added the second layer of trim and guys, look how adorable. While I'm doing this, I'm just like, this is probably the most customization my 100 year old room has ever seen. I find it hard to believe that somebody more extra than me ever lived in this room, like, hello. OMG obsessed. Okay, I think this is all I'm going to do for now. It looks so much cuter. I literally look like the entire day. Like I'm so oily. 
but I just got my pillow out of the washer and I'm ready to DIY her. I kind of already laid out my lace and bows on top of it. I'm gonna use this and put it around it. You guys get the idea. And I'm gonna layer these two trims on top of each other and the bow will be in the center. So I'm gonna tuck these strings inside of here Kind of like this bow that I made, I'm just gonna just tuck the extra string behind the actual loop. You kind of just have to wing it. about done and now I'm gonna do the same to this side as long as you have a glue gun you could fix any error you make when it comes to bows okay looking at it it's probably gonna be uneven once I'm done gluing this side but I have a fix for that so it's okay totally uneven it's so cute i'm gonna do my little hack to make it more even and it's basically just tuck the longer side back a bit like that and then glue it down so like from the back it's just literally folded over once and then glued i'm gonna add some white trim around the bow the bow came out so cute! Guys, each step does not have to be perfect and you can still get a super cute result. This is very adorable! No, she's mine. Oh, that is so cute. It smells so good. I actually really, really want this. I'm gonna eat this one. Why am I holding this candle? I don't even want it. Guys, I ran into a subscriber. Look how cute she is. And she's a mama. Queen. <laughs> I apologize for the messy order, but it is so late. I'm exhausted. It's like 9 p.m. now. But I refuse to rest until I decorate this pillow. So I'm gonna complete this pillow, then give you guys a haul of everything I got today because I was getting so lucky. I don't know, I mean, I know the stores put out cute stuff during this season, but like, I'm just gonna do this lace instead of layering the both of these. This is gonna be so cute. cutest idea I've ever had. So dolly. Finally, I'm going to give you guys the haul of all the cute things that I found on our little shopping trip today. I'm wearing this candy cane Victoria's Secret sleepwear set that I thrifted last year. Isn't it so cute? Okay, so I'm just gonna get this out of the way. You guys just saw me DIY this pillow that I thrifted for $4. 
I honestly am so in love with it. It came out very cute, just as I thought it would, to be honest. I also got this huge Hello Kitty pillow from Hobby Lobby. This is my first time finding something this insane at Hobby Lobby of all places. Like, you guys have to run there. And it's so fluffy. I love how it's like swirly like i don't know how to explain it but when things are fluffy and they have like a swirl pattern to them it just reminds me of a bouquet of roses and this baby pink on the bow is spot on so easy to match with my room so i honestly expected to find like christmas themed stuff at hobby lobby but i'm not complaining about this this is just gonna be my christmas present to myself like the size is crazy i also picked up some roses for more diy projects from hobby lobby um, I don't know why it already fell out, but... Then I went back out to go to TJ Maxx, and I'm so glad that I did because I got my first on-themed Christmas item from there, which are these gorgeous Hello Kitty Santa Claus socks. I had to get a pair for me and my mom because I just think they're so cute, and I wanted to get two. I love this little pink fluffy moment at the top. So adorable, so comfy. TJ Maxx really, really pulled through today. Next, I got this pink pearly spa headband. I definitely do not need any more of these, but this one was just so, so cute. Like, she literally had me so gagged when I saw this. Probably gonna do my skincare wearing this tonight. As I was leaving, walking past the kids section, I see this in the distance. Hold on. Guys, the pink stripes. The beauty decal surrounding Hello Kitty and then like the stripes and get into this zipper like it's literally her face in gold. This reminds me of like an old school Sanrio product and this was the only one that I saw in the store. Like this is my first time ever seeing this. I always see like the impressions Hello Kitty pouches but never this. This is just straight Sanrio. And the inside is just this cute pink. As you can see, everywhere I stopped had something super cute and right up my alley. So I'm so happy about that. It was such a successful day. I also hope you guys enjoyed watching me do my little DIY projects. I would love to do some more in the future. But I'm always decorating something. So let me know. This can be like a whole dollification series, to be honest. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys have the dolliest winter ever, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!